Hi right, guys. It is, you will be shocked to hear, an unbelievably over-the-top, spectacularly gorgeous, and I mean, I am talking a seriously postcard perfect day. Here in the end times, at Bugs in a Jar Farm, it is this gorgeous Wednesday morning. Looking a whole lot like the Wednesday morning in New York. When was it? 21, 21 years ago. And what was it that happened? 21 years ago has it been now? Although you will, I'm happy to say you will barely see it mentioned in the mainstream media this morning. About that little kerfuffle. That happened on Wednesday, September 11th, so many years ago. Because, of course, what I guess, uh, no shit Sherlock, that, that everybody uh, on the planet is talking about. The, the distraction within the distraction, the great presidential, I have to per, put quotes around that, presidential debate. nothing remotely presidential about either one of those goddamn losers uh but anyway as promised i sat out the debate and decided to watch some horror movie called the deliverance on netflix instead although i was you know with with hollywood's best uh theatrics I'm sure there was nothing in the deliverance that was any worse than anything in the debate. Oh, just deliver me from this distraction within the distraction. So I, my prediction, you know, to my Trump tard friend who was up here visiting, uh, you know, when she, she actually asked me if I was going to watch the debate. And I said I, I said I would rather roll around naked in a nest of fire ants than than watch that debate by you know between these two uh, lying sack of shit planet eating corporate whores. And um, I did make the prediction that Kamala Harris was going to eat Donald Trump for breakfast during that debate, uh, but of course, nobody uh, who made up their mind uh, how many years ago, including my friend, to, to vote for Donald Trump was going to notice that uh, he just got stomped uh, and that the debate is not going to change one vote. Although I am glad to hear after the debate the biggest news of all that Taylor Swift Taylor Swift has endorsed <laughs> Taylor Swift has endorsed Kamala Harris and of course the mainstream media making out that some pop star if if you paid me one hundred thousand dollars to name one Taylor Swift song I could not do it uh, there's you know, I would have no clue who I was listening to if you played me a Taylor Swift song. But uh, Taylor Swift, okay, the most, uh, <laughs> you know, the, the, the layers and layers and layers of distraction. Um, <clears throat> when the most important endorsement you can have in this country as a a presidential candidate is from some moronic uh, little pop star. Uh, you know, just just the layers of clueless fucking morons. But uh, maybe Taylor Swift got some votes for uh, for Kamala that she wouldn't have had otherwise. But, uh, of course, you know, just, just skimming the headlines, 
Uh, w one of the headlines I saw, it, 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 I, I've addressed this years ago, something, with, did, did Donald Trump say it last night? Or do I have this, conf something about, um, uh, about <clears throat> Democrats either allowing or wanting uh, whatever it is uh, that to kill babies what the hell was that to kill babies after they are born that you know taking the term limits right on up to birth uh, I have already had the rant uh, and then who was it was it Chris Rock or Dave Chappelle stole my, uh, I, I came up with it first. I can't remember whether it was Chris or David who stole my observation that I think the uh, term limits ought to be extended for five years to age five. That, you know, any, uh, any clueless fucking moron woman who made the worst decision in her life to actually bring a child onto this planet, she ought to have five years <clears throat> of actually raising one of these little fucking uh, curtain climbing yard apes. And uh, anytime in the first five year term that, uh, <coughs> you know, she should have the reproductive right to, uh, take matters into her own hands and uh, and end the pregnancy. Uh, and I'm not even a Democrat. Uh, it, just, it just makes perfect sense to me if we can increase the abortion term limit till five years after birth uh, that this planet would be in a hell of a lot better shape uh, than it's in. So anyway, but I've had this rant a couple of times. So I don't need to repeat myself. I am on the record for uh, throwing my full support to, on women's reproductive rights to extend abortion term limits to the fifth year after birth. Uh, and I'm waiting around for a candidate to agree with me on that. But the other one is... Uh, this thing, and, and, and I've been seeing, uh, I, I haven't really dug down that deep. Uh, something about, is there a story going around that Donald Trump and the, these other uh, Republican uh, fear mongers talking about immigrants eating cats? immigrants eating cats and, and uh, all I can say is hell yes hallelujah open the borders to uh, as many immigrants as we can uh, I, I have been saying for years that we need to kill every motherfucking cat uh, on this planet I will put a small asterisk by this for uh, my cat lady friends such as Sandy. Now, we have two cats right here at Bugs in a Jar Farm, and they are indoor cats. Sandy, I think, has seven cats. They are indoor cats. So I am not advocating immigrants eating indoor cats. Okay. Uh, I will draw the line at indoor cats and uh, obviously uh, neutered indoor cats so they don't get out of the house and bring more cats onto this planet. Uh, cats are a major threat to life on this planet. Anything that we can do uh, to eradicate these, these motherfuckers off the face of this planet. Three cheers for any immigrant 
eating a fucking outdoor cat. If you let your cat out of that fucking door, neutered or not, neutered or not, uh, you, you, you know, you should just uh, accept the responsibility that you are giving license for any immigrant to eat your cat. Uh, I think this is the highest and best use of an immigrant. Well, uh, I, I mean, I can think of plenty of uses for immigrants. I wish I could find a fucking immigrant uh, in, in the state of New York. Uh, and, and they could do some goddamn work around here. I, I got plenty of fucking work uh, for half the goddamn uh, population of Haiti uh, right here at Bugs in a Jar Farm. But while I'm sitting around waiting for one single fucking immigrant to show up for Greg Abbott to send a busload of fucking immigrants to Ithaca, New York, I've been pleading with, with Greg to send us some goddamn immigrants. Uh, Ron DeSantis, can you send us some, some immigrants? <clears throat> but while I am waiting, uh, I, I, I'm hoping that, uh, that I, I think every immigrant, it should, it should be a requirement for an immigrant to get your green card. What you have to do is have documented proof that you have eaten 10 cats. Okay, well, of course, you need to be sterilized, uh, just like the cat. Uh, first, we sterilize the fucking immigrants at the border, which has been my, uh, the Hambone immigration policy for years. And this j j isn't just this country. You know, that's been my immigration policy uh, for any time anybody emigrates to another country, the receiving country, I don't give a fuck who it is, should, uh, number one, sterilize that person, but I'm going to add a second part. First, they need to be sterilized. Then we need to have documented proof. The immigrant needs to provide documented proof that they have killed and eaten 10 cats. Okay. Get your ass sterilized. Kill and eat 10 cats, and at that point, you have, uh, you know, you're welcome in this country. I, I totally welcome any sterilized cat-eating immigrant to the, uh, to the United States of America, and God knows we got plenty of fucking cats. Oh, Lord. Goddamn cats. Uh, they are killing machines. Now, of course, some people might claim that, that this thing right here is a killing machine. Uh, right here, this, this dog, Sancho is 10 years old. And, uh, you know, he dedicates his life to killing chipmunks. Uh, in 10 years, I have never seen Sancho Panza actually kill a chipmunk. I have never one time seen a chipmunk hanging out of Sancho's mouth. I have, I think, seen him kill three squirrels. In 10 years, three squirrels maybe 10 mice. Uh, as far as I can tell, since the day he was born, any cat uh, worthy of being called a cat uh, will kill more animals uh, in, in one day uh, than Sancho has killed in 10 years. Uh, now, 
in, in, in birds, I have never seen Sancho Panza kill a bird. Sancho will not get anywhere near a bird. We, uh, we fixed that the day I got Sancho Panza. We had a come to Jesus meeting about him chasing chickens. The, I had this little dog for about 30 minutes. Uh, the one rule he had at the eco village was not to chase chickens. So you can imagine the first thing he did. And uh, we had a come to Jesus meeting the day I got him. And uh, ever since then, if it has a feather on it, anywhere on its body, if Sancho Panza uh, determines there is a feather uh, on this creature, uh, you know, a, a, a baby duckling, even though it doesn't have feathers, I guess it has fuzz, could come peck Sancho Panza between the eyes and Sancho would not kill it. So, uh, and we will put a, uh, let, let's put a pit bull caveat on there that, uh, that, that, that it can either be, uh, 10 cats or one fucking pit bull. It, it, any immigrant who comes up, and again, we'll limit it to outside, uh, if an immigrant wants to, uh, like, fast-track themselves to American citizenship, although this should be true, they, you know, the citizenship of whatever country, U.S., Canada, England, France, whatever, uh, wherever they are, <coughs> Obviously, they need to get sterilized. That 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 pretty much uh, is, is just almost redundant. And then they need to start killing ten cats. But if the universe sends them a fucking pit bull, that uh, you know, taking out one pit bull is uh, is equal. To ten cats. So this is I'm I am uh, honing the Hambone uh, immigration policy. So forced sterilization at the border. Uh, the most important one uh, to get right at the border. Forced sterilization, uh, and then they can start documenting. 10 cats or one pit bull and uh, obviously I cannot wrap up this rant without a nod to Bill Gady physicist Bill Gady who I've had the pleasure of interviewing I think a couple of times here on Humpty Dumpty Tribe you know talking about the sixth mass extinction that uh, what is going to cause the sixth mass extinction is that humans are going to eat every single one of our fellow earthlings. Every single one of them uh, will go in the stew pot. <clears throat> and after humans uh ha have finished uh, e eating all the wild animals e e you know who the hell do you think is going to be on the menu uh after e e you know after this whole shit show goes down and people get hungry <coughs> after all the cows and sheep and goats are gone and then it's going to be the horses <coughs> and then it's going to be uh, obviously, the cats and dogs. My guess is in the period of sometime in the next 50 years, within about a six-month period, the population of cats on this planet will uh, pretty much... Uh, drop from whatever it is, five billion, pretty damn close to zero. And you better believe Haiti, uh, where the cat population of Haiti better be sleeping with one eye open tonight. 
Uh, obviously, uh, Haitians are already eating cats. And then the big Bill Gatey question, of course, after we've eaten, after humans have eaten every one of our fellow earthlings, what is next on the menu? Well, obviously, what's next on the menu is long pork. Anyway, so that is my, uh, that is an eco-Nazis review of uh, the distraction within a distraction presidential debates <coughs> that I never watched. But I have to... Uh, wrap this up because it is a spectacularly gorgeous day me and the little dog have to go to the dump take a bunch of shit to the landfill for our fall run to the dump and uh, then fill up the trailer with mulch which means uh, this mulch means uh, chewed up uh, trees. Get out there and enjoy mulching the planet while you still can. Bye guys. All right, little dog, are you ready to go? No, we're not. You need to go try to try to kill a, a chippy. You need to take some lessons from a cat. Man, look at this gorgeous day. Bye, guys.